Hello everyone and welcome to Chris Fix Germany. In this video we have 14090. This card is Founders Edition and the card is here because of the power connector right here from the power supply. It's a little bit burned and we have to replace it. But before that I will show you something interesting about this card. And this is uh, this number here on the corner, handwritten number 146. And also here on the bottom side of the chip uh, crystal we don't have markings there. This uh, should be AD102, but here is absolutely nothing. And the second part is the cooler. We have some sticker here. Uh, I will try to focus, it's a little bit shiny. But this one says not for sale. And what this means for me that this card is most likely engineer example and is not for sale. But we have to, we can go deeper in in this engineering sample after we replace the connector we can power on the card and see what is going on there bios or some other stuff i'm making this video not because uh, this type of repair is so interesting to watch no this is very simple repair i'm making it because i saw last week a video from gamers nexus and they were talking about uh, 4090 cards with exactly the same problem and the cards were from cable mod here is very interesting part that cable mod con contacted us a couple of weeks ago and they wanted to send a couple 4090s here to us uh, for the same problem and they never sent the cards. After I, I saw the video from Gamers Nexus, I was thinking about maybe those are the same cards just sent to a repair shop in USA. I have no problem with that. Uh, I usually like to do much more complicated jobs, but uh, I will make a video and also I will tell you our statistics until now. So I'm I'm talking about uh, from last year when the card was launched to uh, to this date. We had around 180 cards, 40, 80 and 40, 90 cards, which are using the same type of connector, 12 plus 4 pins from the power supply and from uh, 180 cards, as I said, this is the second one with this problem. So this looks like it's not so common problem in Germany, in Europe, because we have most of our customers are from Europe and this is not so common problem here. I'm not exactly sure if this is the quality difference or uh, this is some cable issues. I'm not into this problem. I think Gamers Nexus uh, have a very good video about this type of problems and uh, I'm here to fix it, nothing more. So. Uh, we can continue with the repair here. First, we have to preheat the board uh, because it's 14 layers PCB, copper layers. It's very thick. And if I take the, the heat gun and start heating up this area, this is a very bad idea because I'm burning the PCB and also all of the surrounding uh, SMDs here. I, I will use a preheater at 180 degrees. The board should be up to temperature in around three minutes. And then we can use just a tiny bit of hot air there to swap the connector. This should be it. Pretty easy. So let's hit the board. And we are done with the desoldering job. I will show you the old connector. Just a tiny bit of burn marks, but uh, the connector from the power supply, so the cable is not going in. And that's why we have to change it. Here we have a new one. And just simply uh, plug it in there. Align the holes. 
just like that and we can solder all the connections on the back side and for this application I'm going to use the Airsoftwox NC5070 this is available in our shop just a great flux for, for hand soldering and also I am going to use a lead free solder here for this application I know that uh, leaded solder looks better and is much much easier to work with but lead free solder is much harder and a higher melting temperature and for this application here is perfect because uh, I don't know what will happen in the future with this connector and I don't want uh, in case that here are very high temperatures that the solder melts so let it solder melts at around 183 degrees and let free solder at around 230 this is the difference and let's take a look at the board from the other side the connector on top side we have soldered it on the bottom and I'm very happy to see that the solder make through the holes and actually we have solder also on the top side which makes those connections very stable and it can be better than this and now is the best time to make some measurements with the multimeter into resistance mode I want to measure the 12 volts coming from the power supply and the second inductor also here on the corner we have 5 volts checking the memory 17th rising very good reading, PEX rail, 16 ohms, first 1.8 volt rail, 560 and the second one 700 ohms. Alright, checking as well the 12 volt from the, uh, from the motherboard and the 3.3 volts. Alright, we have no short circuits, all measurements are looking good. Uh, now I can assemble the cart with the cooler and we can run couple tests in Windows and I want also to see what is the difference between this engineering sample without markings and not for sale and to compare it with the normal 4090 Founders Edition. I cannot see any difference here on the PCB. Uh, if you take a look at the pictures for example from Tech Power Up, there is absolutely no difference on the components used here. Placing the components everything is the same. I can expect some uh, BIOS changes maybe, maybe the BIOS here is different or not, we will see. So let's assemble and test. The cart is plugged in, the cart is running in Linux, we have picture from the cart. Uh, I think everything is looking normal. I have already run a couple of tests here in Linux without problems, so the cart is fixed. Uh, for our information only, let's check the BIOS data. To see what we have there starting here from the top side where we have the the memory tables and we have available configurations for two uh, types of modules micron two gigabyte modules and uh, we can also check the bios version which i, ha I have already compared it with the normal 1490 the bios number is the same and I have uh, also dumped all the data possible from this card, save it, I can check it later. And if there is a very big difference uh, with the 49 Founders Edition on the market, I will make a follow-up video. But for now, um, I'm not really sure that those two BIOSes are the same. So they have the same version, but let's go to Windows and compare those two files from this card, engineering sample and the retail one. And now in Windows, we can take a closer look to the two BIOS files. Uh, this one from the left side is the BIOS which I extracted from the engineering sample GPU. And here on the right side, we have the 4090 Founders Edition, which is on the market. We can very fast compare those two files. And what we, what we have, we have a difference. So the files they have the same version number but they are not the same i have to take a deeper look uh, what is the difference exactly and maybe dump some more information about the card this will be not bad idea but not for this video if i find something interesting i will make a follow-up video about this bios in the end of this video i want to say that one more time that from around 180 cards here with the same problem with cards which are using the same the same type of connector 
this is the second card uh, with this kind of damage. I don't see this problem very often. I have not a lot of experience about this. I have no idea where this problem comes from. Maybe it's the quality difference. Maybe in the different countries they are using different type of connectors. Not exactly sure. I hope you learned something today. Like and share. If you need a repair, check the links in the video description. If you need parts for our project, check our webshop GPU Fix and we will see us in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.